Europe just had two flesh and blood events sold out. I'm from Wuch in Poland. Uh, I'm here at the Battle of Hard End this weekend to be scorekeeping and helping the organization team. Today we have 226 people in the Battle of Hard End that are participating. So it's uh, it was cap actually. It was sold out. It's been a crazy weekend with uh, the biggest Battle of Hard End ever and the biggest event in Belgium ever. Uh, people have been competing all day for the Battle of Hard End. Uh, this really competitive and top heavy prizes and everything but there is amazing uh, support from the organizer for all the side events and tomorrow there is a lot of extra prize for participation for this really big uh, 200 people pro quest and it's been amazing we've been really having some good time amazing event amazing people and uh, amazing venue it's really beautiful the battle hardened is the highest ranked tournament in level 2 of the flesh and blood tournament tiers so it is a competitive event, but the Battle Heart usually has a bigger number of players attending, including a lot of casual players. Let's see why this is the case. My name is uh, Andres Sandoval, I'm from the Netherlands. Uh, I won the ticket uh, thanks to Alex from Twitter on the giveaway. Uh, the Battle of Heart was very nice, very big, it's a very big uh, place. Yeah, it, to my feeling it's just as big as the event in Utrecht last year from the calling. Uh, I played Bravo today at the Battle Hard and I got my ass kicked but it was a lot of fun. And what did you play after the Battle Hard? Uh, after Battle Hard uh, I played uh, uh, Welcome to Red Draft. Uh, then after that I went to the Give a Winner Box uh, Blitz event. And after that I went to play another Welcome to Red Draft. Awesome, and tomorrow you are participating in the ProQuest? Yes, tomorrow I'm uh, participating in the ProQuest. Uh, again with Bravo because he's my favorite hero, next to Kano. At the Battle Hard in Belgium I met Rafi, a friend from Austria who played his way into the top 8 with zero losses. Let's see what he as a competitive player thinks about the event. Hi guys, I'm Rafi. I came here from Austria with two of my best friends, Florian and Long to play the battle hard end and now I'm 8-0 in the main event. Uh, I'm playing Phi and we actually came here just to play the game because we love to play the game. I've been playing for about one year, Flash of Blood now, started at the Madrid team event and now we've been grinding pro quest season and everything. So I played Yu-Gi-Oh! and MTG before as well, competitively. And the biggest difference between these games is like Yu-Gi-Oh! never had cash prizes, only like play mats and prize cards. MTG had cash prizes, but Flesh and Blood has everything. Like they have the cash prizes, they have the organized play, which is really good, I think, in my opinion. Like there's some small things they could do better, but all in all, the organized play and the Prizes are quite good for bigger events. So I think uh, Battle Harden is really low EV, that's the negative side of the event. I mean, it's really nice to have some sort of bigger event, but I think EV, especially for newer players, if you come here to play, and EV is really bad, only getting prizes for top 8. I mean, it's nice to have some big event, but it would be nice to have some sort of prices for lower ranking, like top 32 or top 16, I don't know. But just top 8 seems really uh, top heavy, I think. Like in callings, you can do good and be like top 64 and get prizes. That's better for newer players, especially. And yeah, that could also, they could also make it for Battle Hard just a little bit, I think. One person that shares Ruffy's thoughts about Flesh and Blood, but also the Battle Hardened, is last year's Calling Utrecht winner, Sander Neft, aka Berg. 
And if you want to see how Sander won the calling last year, check out the video on my channel. What I think of Bella Hardens, I think it's nice. I think it's a nice addition to things like ProQuest, Nationals. Uh, but I do think like today we have like 210 people or something. I think it's a bit much for Bella Hardens. Need to go X1 in an eight round tournament. It's just like really rough to make top eight. Uh, luckily now, if you are X1, you are guaranteed. So that's nice. Uh, but with the prices compared to a calling, I feel like it's a bit too many people for such a tournament. So I really like them to have them in addition to the pro quest and in addition to calling being a bit smaller. But I do think for now there are way too many people up uh, to play such a tournament like this. So that's my feeling about the Battle Ireland. For now I'm 5-1. I hope to make it, but uh, not sure. It was only like a two hour drive. So I live uh, just above Amsterdam. Uh, Belgium is not that far off, it's just over the border, so just a two-hour drive. So we arrived, arrived here uh, yesterday night, so yeah, it's not too bad. I think for Bellarn that's about right. We gained plenty of insights in order to answer why Europeans love to play flesh and blood. And if the Battle Harden is an event worth pursuing for you. If you are a casual player and travel a couple of hours with a group of friends, then it is definitely a yes. It's like a whole weekend full of flesh and blood. We even saw players travel from all across Europe to Belgium. So, you can experience the game on an international level. The top 8 does get amazing prices in the Battle Hardened, with $500 each for the finals in addition to a PTI. And a gold for a legendary for the winner. But also the 3rd to 8 players get a couple of hundred dollars plus an exclusive playmat. So if you are a competitive player looking to win one of these prices, you might want to try out the Battle Hardened. Now let's see what the Battle Hardened Belgium champion Kevin Zanka got for his gold foil. Ich bin der Kevin und ich habe einen Battle Hardened gewonnen. Und jetzt gucken wir uns mal den Gold voll an. Let's okay. go. Oh, jetzt kriegt er seine Quater fest. Oh, nice. <laughs> War ein super anstrengender Tag, super viele gute Gegner, Finale war sehr spannend um, und ich bin froh, dass jetzt endlich mal geschafft zu haben, auch mal so ein Ding zu gewinnen. Mega, herzlichen ja. Glückwunsch, also Danke. einfach nur Wahnsinn. Es hat ja mega lange gedauert jetzt auch, ne? Mhm. aber war für dich ja natürlich jetzt erfolgreich. Klar, der größere Hammer gewinnt halt. Ne? <lacht> ja, also Winters Well Band interessiert dich gar nicht dann. Doch, <lacht> äh, nicht so angenehm für Ultim, also. Mal gucken, was sich da noch ergibt, ob man da was Anständiges machen kann ohne Winters Will. Ich sehe es aktuell nicht, also es wird eine harte Sache. Ja, ich grüße natürlich alle von der deutschen Community. Ähm, besonders halt alle, mit denen ich immer regelmäßig spiele. Äh, den Florian, den Freddy, den Benny, den André, den Oliver. Und natürlich den Martin, der immer ausrichtet. Und dann freue ich mich drauf, die wiederzusehen. Thank you for tuning in until the end. The Battle Harden Belgium is over, but next week is the sold out Battle Harden Bologna. Now it is clear that we love to play flesh and blood. And if you have any questions regarding the game, leave a comment. And subscribe for future flesh and blood videos. See you in the next one.